Hey everybody, it's Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard, and today I bet you're wondering what I'm doing out in space. Well, what I'm doing is using test rigor in order to see if we can dock over at the International uh, Space Station with SpaceX's simulator. And uh, I found something really cool to demo for you today based on that. So let's go take a look at test rigor and see what we've got over here. I've been working with a whole bunch of different things, trying to fix the pitch, uh, correct the roll, and even hit the gas on this uh, on this station on this uh, program here. But what I've also found is that each one of these test cases has something in common. Every single one of them have the exact same five lines of code in order to start their the uh, launch of the browser and the application. So if I close this one over here and I go over to hit the gas and I open up it and I take a look at the test case, it will have the exact same five lines over here. Now that's not fairly efficient to have all the same tests scripts having the same five lines over and over because if something changes well then there's a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the reusable rules and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here my steps that I just copied and then I'm going to give this a label and this is start the game. We'll do that and then I'm going to call this start the game as well as the name. And I'm going to click over here, save, then find and replace steps. And what happens? Well, it goes through and says automatically, hey, you've got a whole bunch of these five different test cases that use the exact same beginning. So you want to replace them all. Yes, I do want to replace them all. So let's go back over our test cases, take a look at them and see what they look like now. I'm going to go click on the first one over here that I opened up. And what we're going to see when I edit the test case is that those lines have been completely replaced with start the game. And not only is that one replaced, but if I go over here and edit this one as well, start the game is also the, the shortcut uh, reusable rule that's being used. So if anything ever changes and I need to change the beginning on every single one of my test cases, it's not just five, it's you know, 10, 100, or a thousand different test cases. That's the way that you can use reusable modular design inside of Test Rigger. Oh, and by the way, if you like what you see, click the subscribe button and uh, take a look at some of these other videos here. If you happen to be an SDET or a, uh, a manual tester who wants to just get into test automation and do it the easy and quick way, and really inexpensive way, why don't you take a look at Test Rigger? My name is Paul Grossman. I'm the Dark Arts Wizard, and thank you so much. Have yourself a great day.